Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be introducing you to three tarantulas that I am currently babysitting. Someone locally was moving and they needed someone to take their tarantulas for a few weeks. A friend of mine contacted me and asked if I'd be willing to help him out to which I agreed. So I figured since I have three more mouths to feed for now, why not do it on camera? Before we do get into that, I have a package from my P.O. box. So I guess let's see what's inside. I hope you enjoy these. They're really easy to care for. Wow, there are so many in here, you guys. Thank you so much, Sandy. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. All of these spiders, thank you so much. Ah! Okay, so now let's get on to the real spiders. There are three to meet and I haven't fed any of them yet. So let's see if they will eat. Okay, so this is the first one I'm gonna introduce you guys to. This is a beautiful rose hair tarantula. Just look how large and beautiful she is. So let's go ahead and offer her a super worm. see if she would like a worm get her a big juicy one now he told me that she like never eats so let's see Ooh, my rose hair is pretty gentle so look at this one this is quite the opposite look at those very big teeth so I do believe that his is the Gramostola rosea and mine is actually the Gramostola porteri. There's a little bit of a debate if they're the same species. There you have it. So I'm just gonna let her stand like this and see if she'll eat it. Let's just put you over there. Stay, forgot to give her some water. So this is his blue dwarf beauty. Let me get a catch cup. What did I do with the, I just got the cup. Oh, got the cup. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a view of this. So he says that this one is unsexed, but to me it looks pretty big. So I have a feeling that if this was a male, it would probably be mature. Maybe we can get it out. Maybe we can try to get a better look. This one looks pretty good. Hmm. Nothing yet. It doesn't look like it's moved at all. See some feet. All right, that's okay. We can probably try for another feeding video. I'm going to be keeping these for a few weeks. Now this one is really cool. This is his Lazador Parabana. Now if you see this hide It's actually molding, and that is why I say not to get these, especially if it's a more damp enclosure, because that's what they do. So I'm actually going to see if he minds if I just toss this and replace it with maybe some cork bark. So here's the LP, and as you see, it is quite beautiful, and I think it's very hungry. So we're actually going to offer it two superworms because he told me this one just molted. These are very, great eaters. Oh, here's one. Here's a little wormy. Yeah. Took it no problem. And like I said, let's do a couple because it just molted. Here's a nice big one. Try to do a close up. Don't let it get away. 
No, no, no. Great, that's okay. I'm just gonna squish the head and leave it. So I do have every single one of these species. Look at those butt hairs. So remember, these are a very irritating species, urticating hair wise. So always be cautious around them because they're quite itchy, I hear. That said, I think that is good enough because I don't want this one to come out. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget this weekend is Pet Fest, June 22nd, 2019 in Phoenix, Arizona. You can still buy tickets, the link is down below. And my next video will either be a live or it'll be my Pet Fest vlog. Like this video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. All right, thank you guys so much.